Welcome to the Atrix ACA eFile service. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the process to eFile your 1095Cs within the Atrix ACA Preparer Wizard. To start, select the 1095C form from the list of forms available in your accounting software. Once open, you will be presented with an option to run through a test drive of the software if you would like to get familiar with the process yourself. The first part of the process is the company setup where we ask you specific questions about your company to determine how the forms need to be filled out. We then present you with the company's federal employer identification number. Please verify that this is correct before continuing forward in the process. We then ask you if you have multiple ACA data files for a single EIN. Examples of these scenarios would include multiple companies, departments, divisions, or sites. Then you will be presented with your company information. Please verify all this information is accurate and make any adjustments if necessary. On the next screen, you'll be asked what type of tax preparer you are. Are you filing for your company or employer? Or are you third-party paid tax preparer filing for one or multiple companies or EINs? Next, we'll ask you if you're filing for your company or employer or if you are a designated government entity filing on behalf of an employer. If you are a DGE, there will be another screen for you to fill in the DGE information. The IRS allows Social Security numbers to be truncated on employee copies of the forms. Here you can select how you would like the Social Security numbers to be truncated if you choose to do so. You can select to have them truncated via asterisks or X's. After the company setup, you will be brought to the ACA preparer. Step 105 is the employer information regarding the ALE member. All information on the screen can be edited, but if any information has not been supplied, those fields will be highlighted in red to indicate that they need to be answered. If you select that you are required to submit a state ACA submission, you will have options to select the states that you need to file to. If any states are selected, you will then have an option to arrow over to the different states to be able to edit the state-specific ALE member information for the monthly breakdown. Step 2 of the ACA Preparer will validate the employee contact information. On Step 2, you will notice that the Preparer is split into three sections. The top left corner is all of the employee personal information. The top right corner has all of the ACA-related data for each employee, and the bottom portion combines those two sections into one tab that is easy to read and edit. Data can be edited in all three sections of the ACA Preparer. On Step 3, we validate the employee-covered individuals. You'll notice the bottom section has now changed over to the Covered Individuals tab where you can validate the covered individuals for the current employee selected. On step four, we validate the employee electronic delivery information if you have any employees that have elected to receive electronic only copies of the forms. And the last step in the ACA preparer is validating the employee coverage information. Here's an example of an invalid situation where a coverage offer is 1A and employee share is $200. You will notice the error description down in the lower right corner explains that code 1A cannot have an amount entered in the employee share portion. Once all employee data has been validated, you can hit the next step to go on to the printing and e-filing options screen. Our most popular option is the complete e-filing service. That offers a printing and mailing of the employee copies next business day, it offers electronic only copies for half price. We'll file your federal 1095s and 1094 to the IRS. And E1095s will be available for all employees, regardless if they selected an electronic only copy or not. We offer a PDF archive of the filing. This will be sent out via USB stick. We will then ask you to review the data to see all of the actions we'll be taking on this filing. As you can see, we'll e-file the federal 1095Cs, we'll e-file the federal 1094, the employee copies will be sent to us, 
and the employer copy will be available to print as well. You will then be presented with the forms all filled out for you to verify that the information is correct. You can navigate through the different pages by utilizing the green arrows in the top left corner. After validating all of the information on the forms are correct, you can next step to print the copies. You will be presented with multiple copies through this process. You can choose to print the forms that you would like a hard copy for. After validating and printing all the forms, you are then presented with the Atrix Secure eFile login. Here's where you will enter the username and password that you used when you enrolled for eFiling with Atrix. After entering this information, you can log in. We will then have you verify that the information we have on file for your company is correct. If any changes need to be made, you can click the link at the top of the screen. If you've already processed W-2s and were interested in combining the W-2 and ACA forms onto one mailing, you will have the option to choose to save 50% off of the ACA forms if you want to combine them. You will want to review the charges that are applied to your filing. After reviewing, click Next. We allow you to choose a date in which you would like your employee copies to be mailed out as well as a week range of when you would like the federal copies to be submitted. On the next screen, enter your credit card information to pay for the processing of the filing. And if you chose to have a PDF archive sent to you, we will validate the address that that will be sent to. And lastly, on the confirmation screen, you can verify that all the information on the screen is correct and then simply submit your filing. You will then be given an AFID, which stands for an Atrix Filing Identification Number. Use this number to reference this particular filing whenever contacting support via email, chat, or phone. You also will receive a confirmation email that is sent out to the email address we have on file. This completes the process of submitting an ACA filing to the Atrix eFile Center. Thanks for watching.